After this, we install WordPress on this virtual machine right here. You want to server. Now we'll need to move and create a new project by using Gatsby CLI. Okay, for that, let's just create a new folder, Gatsby. Gatsby. Then let's just open the terminal. And within the terminal, I will just access to this Gatsby folder. And I'll use this Gatsby new. And for the project, I will name it Gatsby WordPress. It asks me here, which package manager would you like to use? Now I'll just use NPM instead of Yarn. Okay, hit enter and wait until it's finished creating the new project. Done. The installation is finished and all of the files are created. Now to run the project, let's just first take a look to the package.json file. The command is responsible for running Gatsby is Gatsby develop to run Gatsby in the development mode. And we have also built which generate the public folder that will be deployed. Let's just move to the terminal to use the command Gatsby develop. If we hit enter, it will use the port 8000. But this is not what I want. Because if we take a look at the Docker Compose here, so you will see that 8000, it's already used it by this Gatsby WordPress. It will create a conflict. And to avoid this kind of problems, so we'll use different port. And to do that, you just need to add this port. Then we'll use this 8888 and hit enter. And the Gatsby developer is running successfully. And to check that, you need to go to this URL right here, localhost 88 and 88. And as I already said, so in order to do a port forwarding, just need to go to this remote SSH and add this 88 port and add it again. Now we forward the port 8888 from the virtual machine into this local machine in order to use it. Now, if I just go here and just copy this URL here and I use 88 and 88, hit enter and voila, Gatsby default starter is working. We can check the files and folders created by Gatsby CLI and we have here this Gatsby WordPress and all of the files and folders that Gatsby CLI generated. So far, we have a working WordPress website and we have also a Gatsby website. Now, what do we need to do exactly is we need to fetch the data from the WordPress website by using Gatsby. So in the next video, we'll learn how to set up Gatsby and prepare it for WordPress in order to fetch the data from it.